I got arrested January 30th, and just a few weeks later, the world started to change about this virus. At first, I wasn't thinking too much about it, and then the reality of the situation hit me was, if it comes in here, it's going to spread like wildfire because... Everything's confined. You have four-man cells, six-man cells. Our bunks are on top of each other, and the cells are very small. The showers, they either get cleaned once a day, or sometimes they don't get cleaned at all. Everybody's still playing cards. The phones are, like, not even two feet from each other, so it's not like everybody's really, really separated. They don't supply us with no gloves or anything. As of antibacterial soap and stuff like that, there's none of that available. Marcelli, he makes a soap, but that's really the only way to stay clean. The healthcare system is like the bottom of the barrel. There was an inmate in here. She was complaining that she was having a cough and having a fever. They tell us we have to fill out a medical request form. The medical request forms take about at least one or two weeks before they even answer us. By then, we're either sicker or it, it got better on its own. You have officers that's not trained to treat you like humans. Automatically, they put your health at risk. It makes me feel helpless. Like people joke about it, but in the back of your, our minds, like we want to, or just let us die or something. Their biggest thing here is you guys are inmates. If you guys are that concerned about what's going on, don't come to jail. You know, we made mistakes. We made mistakes to all bring us here, but what do you want us to do? Jail is already tough. Every time it's going to be a death sentence. Five million people are booked into jail each year in the United States. If jail populations are not dramatically reduced, COVID-19 could kill 100,000 more people. Take action today at wematter2.co.